been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions. How is my hand miner is running on solar system? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys. I am Alexander and in this tutorial I am going to go over some of the step of my hand miner. I have been getting a lot of comments and a lot of questions. How is my hand miner is running on solar system? What is my battery bank capacity and what's my solar capacity, my output and also my connection? And I intend to go about this step by step to try and see if I can make you understand best of knowledge of how I am mining with my hand miner L3 Plus and my solar system. I am not using all my solar panel on my house top for this hand miner. At the moment, I am only using two. I am going to show you in this video how it's connected with the inverter. So I think it's only fair enough for me to give some highlight of me laying out the tilt leg, the rail and the panel, show you how I actually construct this solar system on my roof. Once I was finished with the tilt leg, the rail and all the other stuff, for me now to lay down six panels. All of these panels are 280 watts by 38.1 volts. So if I were to connect all these panels together in a series connection, I would end up with 1.68 kilowatts and 31.9 voltage. Teams that we're only going to use two panel, which I already explained to you in the video, we're only using two connection panel, and that only going to give us 560 watts at 31.9 volts. Reason why we are doing that because the charge controller that I'm going to be using for this application only can go up to 50 volts and at 700 watts. So just to clarify what I just said, I am using two panel, each panel of 280 watt, 31.9 volt. I'm going to connect them in series so the volt will remain so we'll be still having 31.9 volt but 560 kilowatt and that is sufficiently enough to run my inverter the charge control and my four batteries so we're going to move along these are my two charge control i would prefer to use the mppt maximum power point tracking but at the moment this little Chinese PWM is all connected, so I'm just going to go ahead for the interest of time. Here in the first two connections, this is coming from the solar panel. These middle connections are the battery. My battery bank are four gel seal battery, 12 volt, 200 amps, and they are sufficiently enough to run my hand miner through the day and right through the night. It might not work for some of you with four battery, but remember, I am living in a tropical area where I get sun all day. So my setting will be different from yours. All along, we have been talking about DC voltage or DC currents all along, but the hand miner run hand AC current. So now to get all that DC current to transfer in AC current, we'll turn to my 12 volt inverter. You may have seen I introduced this inverter in other video. It is the same inverter. It is 17 watt and it peak at 18 watt. The hand miner only using 700 watt up to 1000 watt. And this inverter it is so efficient that when I put in the hand miner updated version and drop it down to 720 watt, you can see this inverter is still giving me 600, 620 watt to push this hand miner. Very much in working condition. The like and subscribe button, duh, why not give it a try? And welcome to my small operation center. 
and the wall behind me that's where everything has come together and make one big family let's check it out so here we have on the wall the whole operation from panel to battery to inverter to also the hand miner itself in this box we have DC and AC and breakers all connect together to combine to make the operational work at the top of the box is DC and in the middle is AC and I have constructed the box that way because in that box is four breaker I have made a dedicated plug for the hand miner because I would not want it to plug the hand miner directly into the inverter because the hand miner run very hot as you guys should know that it run really hot hence I make a dedicated plug for it and that dedicated plug comes from that box. There's a solar charge control. That's where the solar and roof comes in to this PWM charge control. From the charge control, directly in the battery box outside. Battery box then come back and connect to the inverter. And this is my small inverter. These are the DC side of the current. This side is the AC side that go to the box and then to the dedicated current. So this is the hand miner plug that go to the hand miner up there. And this goes to the dedicated plug that I built for the hand miner itself. And I'm using this heavy duty plug because it can go up to 200 watts. So I'm using it. For the purpose of the knives right now, I have unplugged the hand miner. I don't know if you can hear me over the sound or it's too loud. I've made a couple of modifications to my casing. As you can see, I have an exhaust hose and an intake hose. So whenever you are trying to invest in, in a hand miner, just remind of yourself that it make a lot of noise. This is my hand miner setup right now. <laughs> 